Hello and welcome to Alliance War Season 49, Episode 10. So we had a really nice win over SSX, but only dropping the 7 deaths to their 13, and it puts us 15th in Masters and our 5th win for the season, so really, really nice win there. And uh, we've got 7 fights in today's war, we're using our 2 MVPs for the season, and it will be our 2nd uh, boss this season as well. Our opponent's AF, so they're a pretty strong you know, Masters Alliance from last season. They're banned Sunspot, Domino, and Apocalypse. Our team today is our 7 star rank 2 Dust, our 7 star rank 3 Corvus Glaive, and our 6 star rank 1 Proxima Midnight. So obviously Corvus and Proxima have an amazing synergy that gives Corvus True Strike once you knock down a champion that has either, either the baited or auto blocked during the fight. So we'll need that True Strike for the boss. And then Dust is of course a tactic attacker, so she'll be able to get those prowesses to uh, remove those indestructibles that the, that the tactic defenders will get. Because we'll fight a few tactic defenders with her. Our Master is our um, standard recoil setup because Corvus and Dust are both very recoil friendly. So we'll be running that for pretty much the whole war. We'll do a slight adjustment for the boss though. So first fight here, we're starting on path 6. We've got this Blade. So the Blade is actually a tactic defender. This first Blade I fought this season. The only real sort of thing we have to worry about is Blade's inbuilt limber in his kit, so he has he reduces the duration of, of any debuff really the more power he has, so we're just gonna be wary that our stuns won't normally last as long as they normally do. Especially when he has at least a bar of power. So we parry a few times just to get some prowess, we're up to six now, with some lights in the block as well. Just wanna get special ones out of him. Uh, we can bait the specials too as well because it won't do too much damage, especially if we glance it. But yeah, it's easy to just stick to the special one. Obviously Dust is fully bleed immune, so there's no danger of us. Uh, you know, if we do eat a special two, there's no danger of that. That will kill us, really. But we get to a special three, he's already halfway down, essentially. Because it's only a six star blade. No, there's no seven star blade here, so it's a six star. So, this uh, special three doesn't get him most of the way down, then one special two just finishes him off here. Uh, after we get a combo in. Yeah, pretty nice warm up here, and then we've also got to warm up with Corvus because we need to get our first Glaive charge here. So we have a Sauron on this path who is, of course, a mutant, so we can get our mutant charge from this guy. Uh, he does, there, is a, there is a way to get extra prowesses on this on this path through aggression prowess, so we've got to be careful of that. When he gets the seven passive prowess from any source, he can go unblockable, so you can see his unblockable is ready now. So I think he throws a special one here. In fact, no, we just throw a special two. <laughs> and then he throws a special one maybe here? No, <laughs> we just throw a special two. Because Corvus just does not care uh, about anything. He just rampages through everything. And then next up we have this Kindred. This is a Ascended Kindred, so obviously Max Sig means that route does last longer than it would for a low Sig. Uh, if it was the seven star. So we're using Dust here, so, and that's because she's fully immune to the shock and bleed, so it, that has a shift mode has no relevance at all. And Power Focus 2 makes it easier to fight Kindred, because obviously his special 2 is much easier to punish than his special 1. So we push in a special 2 every time. And, and the other good thing, the other good way that uh, uh, Dust is a really good Kindred counter is that because all of her lights are non-contact, so she won't actually get any uh, any of his um, outbreak charges uh, during her light attack. So you can see when it's not paused, when it wasn't paused during the start of the fight, we weren't actually getting any charges during our light attacks. But we pause it again there for the second time. Uh, I probably should have thrown special three here, but I wanted to wait until he was just just above the root timer. So I wanted to throw the special three, and then just finish off with special two during root. So I probably should have thrown special three here. In fact, like right after this, after punishing this, um, you can see we're up to 46 now. So we're very near the outbreak. Uh, he has stolen a little bit of our power. So I think I throw a special three here just before we hit the hit the outbreak. But yeah, because this special three consumes no power, there's no danger of us uh, missing the route because we can just throw a special right after this, and he's done. All right. So next time, next fight we have here is this Killmonger. So I've lost count of the amount of times I fought Killmonger here. I think it's the fifth one I've had. And this is the third time we've using Corvus. This is the cleanest one I've had so far, though, because uh, we just time everything to perfection. This guy was running three out of three in equity. I was pretty sure, so you can see because our damage is doing is a lot less now that we have three shocks on us. So we just wait for those shocks to wear off. Uh, remove the indestructible with a parry, then into a special two. With the power boost, we get back up to a special two perfectly again, and then we just do another one there. 
and that's it. <laughs> He's got, he makes Gilmogra a joke. And then next up here is a very important fight. This is the most important fight of the war because not only the Red Skull are tech defender, we'll be able to get the tech charge, but we also need to do uh, need to get the uh, the true strike charge. So we want to basically get him to throw pistol one, then parry him to remove his armors, and then trigger his auto block. So that's what we do it perfectly there. And you can see he auto blocks, and then he throws a special one again. So we just want to wait that auto block again out, and then just easily parry heavy, and that will give us our true strike. So that's all we had to do for that fight, and now we can just easily just. Um, knock him down with the pistol too. There was power snack, so we actually, um, I'm not sure why it didn't eat our cruelty at the start, but, uh, sorry, it did eat our cruelty at the start, that, that cruelty there is from, is from the true strike from knocking him down, so you can see we have one of the cruelties active from that, and then the other ones were eaten by power snack, but we just finished off with a special two here. He actually decks the start of that special two, which was kind of crazy. I, I was completely in shock, which is why I think I ate that combo. I just couldn't believe he decks that, but we, one more here and he goes down. Uh, it's kind of crazy though, that he did that. But uh, this is later in the day, we're taking this Craven, so we're using bigger boosts now because we're on our way to the boss. So we're using Dust in this Craven. I think this is the first time I fought Craven as well uh, with this in this tactic. So he actually threw a special one straight away. I did not want him to do that because obviously that paces his trap. And uh, I didn't want to have to deal with any traps in this fight. And so I think I tried to knock him down into a special with this special one. But I think you have to use a heavy attack to do it. And so we actually triggered the trap ourselves. Um, so that was a bit of a mistake there. And so we lost a bit of our prowess, but we didn't lose too much health, which is good. And then we, he's up to a special two now. So this also has Conflictor, that's why I've got a guidance boost on, so we don't have to... Uh, so we're going to safely parry all the time. We probably didn't really need the guidance boost, but it's a, it's a good safety net. And, and the tactic prowess, we want a lot of them because they actually reduce the ability power rate, and that includes Conflictor. So, um, yeah, that's a good that's a good side effect that the Prowlers have. But you see, we're not even in our Sandstorm yet, and he's pretty much dead. So you can see that Heavy gets him down 3%, then we can just finish off with the Special 2. Yeah, this guy did not have much health at all, really. But now we're on to the boss. This is my rematch with Bullseye. The first time I used Dust, this time I'm using Corvus. This is a much better matchup on paper. I turned on 3 out of 3 recoil, uh, 4 out of 4, you know, block proficiency. Went full, all out for this fight, and this fight started horribly because he parried me. I did a double dex of the heavy when I should have done a single dex and that and he punished me excruciatingly well for that. So um, we recovered though. Uh, we parry here, the special one to remove the indestructible. You can see the special one just does so much damage into our block because uh, Corvus isn't immune to instant bleed, it's only bleed debuffs. But we chained into a special two there and here I was trying to chain into a special two here but he dexes. Uh, you can see what I would go in for a medium into, into block and then throw the special two but he dexes out of it like a little bitch. <laughs> and so we actually don't get all the power back and then he changed into another special one. I should have been able to, he should have been dead by now. That's the, yeah, he should have been dead by now. But we get a parry to remove the indestructible. He throws a heavy luckily, we get an intercept, I threw, I threw a striker. And I should have done a four hit combo here but I did a five hit combo and I was about 0.5 of a second off. I was at 0.5 of a second off. He threw, he, he went indestructible right before my last hit. So I was really, really annoyed about that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it was really, yeah, really sucked. Obviously I killed him right after that, but yeah, at least our solar rate is still above 95%. That's my own personal goal for each season, but yeah, it really sucks to die to bulls. I love that. Hopefully, hopefully that's the last time I have to fight a bulls boss, but yeah, I just don't want to see that guy again ever. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching this war. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Dead.